Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll show you how to disable end-to-end -end encryption in Messenger. So before we start, be sure to check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. Now, first thing that we want to do here is we want to open up our Messenger. Now from here, if a message or a chat is actually uh, have the end-to-end -end encryption enabled in them, you'll see a lock next to the conversation itself. Now, how do you actually remove this? So there's, a, there's actually two ways for us to do this. So first thing is you want to go ahead and go to the top left of your screen, which is the tree bar icon. Just click on it. And you want to go to your settings in there just click on the gear icon and from here you want to scroll down a bit until you see the secret conversation option so from there you could just basically click on it and disable secret secret conversation or end-to-end -end encryption and messenger but unfortunately this setting is not available for all devices so it is only available for a few devices so what if this option is not available to you well, the second way that we could do this is you could just go back here in the main chat screen. Just press and hold on your chat that you want to uh, disable or remove. And from here, just click on delete and start creating a new chat. And from there, you could basically start in a normal setting and chatting. Now, how do, do you actually ensure that you're not using end-to-end -end encryption? So in this case, let's just click on the pencil icon at the top right of your screen. And from here, you have to ensure that the end-to-end -end encryption option is actually disabled on your screen. So that's located at the top right of your screen. So make sure this one is disabled so that you will not be using end-to-end -end encryption whenever creating a new chat. But yeah, that's about it. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.